Here we go again with the damn intro. videos on nursing school, beauty, and lifestyle. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I achieved this hairstyle right here. Um, it's fairly simple, um, but I thought I'd show you guys exactly what I do in order to um, get the texture and, and get it nice and fluffy and stuff like that. So if you're interested in learning how I achieved this hair look, then just keep watching. Okay, so a few things before I get into this video. Um, I have some of the products that I use that I'm going to show you. Um, but I just want to put it out there that it took me a long time to find out what works with my hair. Um, and I've been on a hair journey for a long time. Um, I used to be blonde ever since I was in high school. I was blonde up until about... Five years ago, I dyed my hair brown, not even five years ago, less than that, maybe like three and a half, four years ago, um, and my hair was like really short. It never grew, um, so I decided to dye it brown because I was just sick of my hair being dead. It would not curl. It was stretchy. It was straw-like. It was disgusting, um, so I ended up dyeing it brown. It was a dramatic change. And I basically never touched it ever since then. Um, I don't dye it anymore. I used to every so often straighten it or blow dry it so I can have it um, straight. But I actually stopped doing that this year. Like in January 2020, that was the last time I straightened my hair. My hair's pretty short right now. I actually cut it, I want to say maybe like a month ago now. Um, and I cut it because the ends were so damaged and I actually like started snipping it myself and I actually just ended up chopping it all off um, but everybody's hair is different the curl patterns different the products that works well with our hair it's all different um, so I'm just gonna show you what I'm just gonna show you what works for me and I mean try it out I've heard these products are really good well this one I've heard not so great things but this one she moisture line i've heard amazing things i look it up i look up the ingredients and i see that you know everything looks really good no silicones no sulfates no parabens um which is really healthy for hair especially when it's curly because it's so hard to maintain um but yeah just you have to embrace your hair for what it is not everybody like i said not everybody's hair is the same so what may work for me it may not work for you but that's just part of this journey on finding out what works well with our hair it's it's not going to be the same for anybody um and yeah so let's just stop this intro right here and get straight into the video because my battery is about to die um, if you guys have any comments, questions, anything like that, just leave it down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and then you can help that bell button if you want to be notified whenever I post any videos. Love you guys. Bye. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the shower now. I just got back from the pool, so I'm going to wash out the chlorine out of my hair, um, and then I'll show you guys how I style it once I wash it. Bye. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower. Um, so I'm gonna get dressed. I usually wait. So like when I'm, let's say I'm going to work or if I'm getting ready to go out, I usually do my makeup before I do my hair. So that way it gives my hair some time to dry. And um, because it's 
literally dripping wet right now. Um, so I'm not gonna do my makeup because I'm not going anywhere and we're in quarantine right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and like put some clothes on and then I'm gonna clean my room a little bit and then I will come back and show you guys exactly how I style my hair um, and how I do like my curly hair routine. Um, so just stay tuned. Okay, so my hair is for the most part dried. Oh, okay, that's no, that's not right. It is still wet, but it's dried a lot. Um, but it's not dripping wet anymore. You can see it's like it's damp. It's a little bit more than damp, but it's exactly how I like to put product in my hair. Um, so first I'll put product and then I'll go in with the dryer and scrunch it. Um, and I'll show you guys exactly what I use and the process um, on how I get my curly hair. So for here, I'm just going to go in with the Cantu Curling Cream and I'm going to put that first on my hair and just scrunch it all in there. And then before I put any product in my hair, I actually like to make sure I take my rings off so that they don't get dirty on the inside because it's kind of hard to clean underneath all the diamonds and stuff. So I take a generous amount and I do this multiple times as you'll see in the video and I just scrunch it all in there. I'll brush my fingers through my hair as well um, so that way I distribute the product evenly. So you see you just see me comb it in and then I scrunch it at the same time. And you just want to make sure that the product is as evenly distributed in your hair as possible. I don't like, I like to make sure that I get it evenly because if you get one big clump in one spot, I feel like it tends to hold your hair down or like weigh it down. So I like to make sure that I have a nice even layer throughout my hair. And then when I flip my hair back, I notice that I usually have some dry spots on the top, so I'll go ahead and put some extra product there. Then I'll just wipe my fingers off. Then I'm going to go in with the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I usually use less of this product, but I still distribute it throughout my hair evenly. I make sure that I try not to use too much product on my hair because again, like I said before, I don't like my hair to be weighed down. Um, I kind of like that big, curly, voluminous look, so that's why. I try to watch how much product I put. Alright, so we're going to go in with the blow dryer here. I have the settings on low for heat and then low for the force of the blower. Um, so that way I don't make my hair frizzy and that way I do not put too much heat on my hair as well. 
And then this blue button right here, I use to blast cold air. So I'll usually do a little bit of warm and then I'll blast with cold and then I'll keep doing that back and forth because I, like I said before, I do not like to use too much heat on my hair. So I just make sure I keep the heat on low to warm and then I still blast it with cold air. Okay, so when I go in with the blow dryer, I don't use a diffuser. I used to, but I stopped using the diffuser because I find that I have more control over my curls when I use my hand. And then I also like to make sure that I don't go too close to the ends when I'm blow drying. Another thing I like to add is when you're blow drying your hair like this, like when you're curling your hair using a blow dryer, just make sure that you don't focus just on one area. I like to make sure that I try and dry my hair evenly um, so that way some areas are not drier than others and so that way I also have the same amount of volume throughout my hair. nice and dry give a little shake and we're gonna flip that bad boy right up so once I do this and my hair is already fully dry I like to see the texture see the volume that I've created kind of fluff it out and then add the hairspray now when I add the hairspray I make sure to scrunch it right away I find that this gives it a less chance of getting hard, which I do not like my hair to be hard or crunchy. So I spray it and I automatically right away scrunch it so that way that sticky and hardness um, does not form in my hair. So then I like to make sure that I get it everywhere in my hair so I just flip my hair to all sides. And I also find that this also helps with giving my hair volume. And then I'm going to go back in with a blow dryer and blast it with warm to cool air so that way it gives it a chance to dry. And then I continue scrunching it like I said before so that way I do not get any hard or crunchy parts of hair because I do not like that texture. Um, and then I also, this also helps with making it more volumized. Alright, so once I'm done blow drying the hairspray, I flip my hair back over and I kind of adjust it to how I like it. Um, so whenever I finish my hair, sometimes my hair will fall one way, sometimes it'll fall the other way, or sometimes it'll fall straight in the middle. I personally do not like my hair falling straight in the middle, especially when it's curly. So I'll usually go in with some hairspray, flip my hair back down, and I'll spray my top hairline. And then I'll blast it with warm to cool air so that way it kind of gives that top part volume. And I'll flip it back over and I'll kind of, kind of adjust it so that my hair can fall from one side or the other. It just depends on the day. My hair does not go to one side regularly. It'll go the left side or the right side. Like, And when I mean, I'm talking about my hair part. Um, so sometimes I'll put it so that it parts to the right. Sometimes I'll put it that it parts to the left. It honestly just depends on how my hair is falling that day. Um, and... It's not going to be the same every day when I do it. So I kind of just play with it. I'll flip it to one side. I'll flip it to the other side, see how it falls. I'll put hairspray to help keep um, some parts in place so that it's not all in my face. 
um, but for the most part that's really just it that's how I do my curly hair routine if you guys have any comments questions concerns um, feel free to comment down in the comment section below um, and I will catch you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time love you bye